Hello friends, I am Risha and this is for the love of classics. Today's video is going to be book reviews of classics I recently read. So the first classic which I want to talk about is The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. Wilkie Collins was a Victorian author. This is his fifth published novel and it was published in the year 1859. It is considered to be the first mystery or detective book ever written. This story is narrated by multiple narrators and I really enjoyed the writing style of the book. I was not sure whether I wanted to give this book a three star or a four star, so I gave this a three and a half star. The story begins when Walter Hartwright, who is a drawing master, encounters this mystery woman in white on his way to London. It is late at night, it is really dark. He meets this lady who is dressed in white from head to foot. It was a really captivating beginning to the story and I really enjoyed the first half of the book. During the first half, many of the characters are being introduced and the way Wilkie Collins describes some of the characters is really interesting. I really enjoyed the way Wilkie Collins described the character of Count Fosco and also how he described Frederick Fairley who was the uncle of Lady Glyde and Marian Halcombe. So the thing which bothered me about this book was the way some of the female characters were described. For example, Lady Glyde was described to be this beautiful, perfect lady who was feminine and polite. And then her cousin, Marian Halcombe, was the more intelligent of the two, but she was described as less flattering, but more intelligent. Even when he acknowledges that Marian Halcombe is intelligent, he seems surprised as though it is difficult or unusual for women to be wise and intelligent. I can understand that this book was written in the Victorian era. This is probably how things were back then. But I have read other books from the Victorian era which have portrayed women in a much better way. For example, George Gissing in The Odd Women portrays women in such an amazing way. And even Thomas Hardy and Charles Dickens do more justice to their female characters as compared to Wilkie Collins. The female Victorian authors have talked about powerful female characters in their books like The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte is an amazing book and you wouldn't believe it's written in the Victorian era but it is. So reading The Woman in White was a bit disappointing in how it talked about a woman and I would like to give Wilkie Collins another chance. Maybe he is less condescending towards the female sex in his other books. I would not be picking up another of his books in the near future, but I would be open to suggestions. Is there any other book by Wilkie Collins which is better than this? There is a TV movie which is based on this Victorian Gothic novel and it is called The Woman in White. So I'm probably going to watch that now that I have read the book. The next book which I want to talk about is Ethan From by Edith Wharton. I did discuss this book as I was reading it in one of my vlogs. Edith Wharton is an American author and this book was published in the year 1911. So it is a relatively modern classic. I read it for the Stay Home Reading Rush which was hosted by Ariel Bissett. I read this from the Wordsworth Classic Edition. This is a short story or a novella. The story is set in New England, which is on the eastern coast of the United States. And it is a place where there is harsh climate. There is a lot of snow and she describes the landscapes a lot. Edith Wharton described these snow-filled landscapes, something I could not relate to. I haven't been to places like that. And I think uh, a better author could have made me visualize these places better. So the main character in the book is Ethan Frome, which is the title of the book. Ethan Frome is this man who has been a prisoner of the circumstances. He moved out from his hometown to study engineering, but he had to give up his dreams and come back because his father got sick and then he passed away and then his mother got sick and then she passed away. And during her mother's illness, he comes to meet his wife, Zena. She's older than him, they get married, they have a very unhappy marriage. So his wife, Zena, 
has poor health and therefore he cannot leave her and pursue his studies. He feels just stuck in the whole situation. And I also felt sorry for Zena because she's also stuck with him. Zena doesn't seem like a very happy character either. The story takes a turn when Zena's cousin, Matty Silver, comes to stay with them. I know there are a lot of people who really enjoy this book, but I think this was not for me. I did not really care for the writing style. I did not enjoy any of the characters. I felt that the whole story was a bit unnecessary and the ending was just so weird because throughout the book, I felt that Ethan Fromm was a sensible man, but the decision he made at the end did not feel like himself. So I gave this one a two and a half star. So those were the two classics I read. If you have read any of these two, let me know down in the comments. If you would like to suggest other books by Wilkie Collins and Edith Wharton, please let me know down in the comments. I'm going to see you all in my next video very soon. Bye.